Hi guys, it's Ollie here from I Will Teach You A Language and in this video I'm going to talk about these things, vocabulary notebooks. Now I'm sure you've got at least one of these, probably if you're like me, a few dozen or a few hundred of them. And you know, when you start to learn a new language, the most important thing, but also the most difficult thing to do, is to learn a bunch of new vocabulary. And personally I end up with books full of hundreds and thousands of, of phrases and words and random things that I've that I've been trying to learn in the new language. But of course, you can never actually remember all this stuff because there's too much. So in this video, what I'm going to do is show you how I go about taking my vocabulary notebooks and consolidating it all into something practical and tangible that I can actually go away and learn and memorize. So here we are deep inside my current notebook, which I'm using for Egyptian Arabic. Now these notes come from all kinds of places, but mainly things that I write down during my speaking sessions and things I want to remember from my Arabic textbook. The point is, none of it's organized and none of it is really of any use to me whatsoever as long as it stays here inside the notebook. For most of us, we have the natural intelligence to note down things we want to remember, which is why we end up with notebooks that are full to bursting. But what we don't do well is the next step, actually taking what's inside them and, and learning it. So here's how I deal with this. Firstly, I don't try to learn everything. I say to myself, even if I could learn everything in here, the reality is that I'd only actually use 20% of the stuff on a regular basis. In other words, I decide that I'm not going to learn most of it. The key is deciding what I am going to try to learn, those 20% of words and phrases that are genuinely useful, and then focus all of my energy on those. Think about it. If you could eliminate 80% of the stuff on your to-do list, how much easier would it be to finish the rest of it? Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm, I'm very simply going to go back over the last few weeks worth of things that I've uh, written in my notebooks. And I'm just going to literally go through and decide right, which vocabulary do I really want to learn? What's going to be very useful for me now? Words that I really, words and phrases that I really should know. And I'm going to be ruthless about this. Um, so, so here we go. Okay, so you get the idea. Most of the stuff here I have not highlighted. I've just gone for the stuff that I really do need to remember. Okay, now the reason that we've highlighted all this vocabulary is to be able to then pull it out of the notebook and put it somewhere more useful where we can actually go about studying it. So what I do is I take this, all this special vocab that I've highlighted and I put it straight into my flashcards app. Now I use one called Flashcards Deluxe. There's lots out there. You can use Anki, you can use Memrise. But I put it into Flashcards Deluxe, and so what I'm doing right here is a little ninja trick where you can simply type it into a blank text document, and then when you finish typing that all up into the text file, you can export it automatically into the app, and then take away all of this key vocabulary with you, so that any time you've got a couple of minutes spare, you can study it. Now, most importantly, what happens is that, although obviously you want to always be spending time studying your vocabulary, what you're doing now is you're making sure that you're focusing on only the things that matter, the things that you've chosen to focus on, and that's the power of this system.